where it uh, track was actually really tough that night as well. And uh, it uh, could be something quite special for young Dan Bewley if he could put it off. But he's got three very tough competitors and uh, two in particular, and Leon Madsen and Barta Smarzik, who sit in first and second in the world right now. So, riders making their way around for the final race of the night. And uh, Dudek coming forward immediately into that inside gate. And Barta Smarzik having to settle for gate number three. But as I say, right now, he's kind of still, even though this is tense moments, he's still in a very strong position. He's still going to go away with a healthy lead, come what may here. Best result for the World Championship, of course, if, uh, if uh, Leon Madsen can win and uh, Barta Smarzik finishes in fourth. So, line up for the final. Dudek on the inside in red. Dan Bewley alongside him in blue. Barta Smarzik out of gate three in white. Leon Madsen off the outside in yellow. Wow. We've got here. Yeah. We've had to be patient, but we've yeah, got yeah. here. We've, we've, we've waited for it, but I think it's going to be worth waiting for. It is going to be tense. It's going to be tight into that first turn. So, two Polish riders. Brit and a Dane, so an international lineup here. Will Dan Bewley blow the roof off by winning here? Uh, another way, another way. I just repeat, that, that's Dan Bewley. I think they may okay, have that's Dan Bewley. We can't hear ourselves think, but, that, but I can assure you that was Dan Bewley being introduced. Will Leon Madsen get away with another flyer? I don't think so. I think Mr. Steentoff may be wise to that now. He'll be watching him. And, of course, uh, Barcelona Smarzman's not going to make it easy on that run to the first corner, that's for sure. So, it's been a roller coaster of a night. Four laps to go to determine the winner after a three-year gap in the Principality. The final of the night, then. Green light comes on now. Takes her up and we're underway. Julie's made a great start out of gate number two. Fires and silk for the front. Roars down the first corner. Smarzik now into second place with Dudek slipping back into third. Madsen didn't make it from the outside gate. Julie out in front. Looking like a winner from there for me. Absolutely sensational start. You said Chris, he had a smile on his face. And so he proved. Brilliant stuff from Beauty. Yeah, he had a smile that oozed with confidence as gate two became available. And he has taken this one, the ball by the horns. Look at him go. Whoa. Making the bike work perfectly. He's leaving Smiles looking in way. Absolutely. Out in front, just over a lap to go for Dan Bewley. Smarsley, the championship leader. That's no bad result for him. One last big effort for Bewley down the back straight. Here he comes. Listen to the crowd. Take him home. The winner of the Principality, Dan Bewley. What a ride. What a ride from that young man. This is a moment he will never forget. Absolutely right. Stunning performance. Absolutely jet propelled away from gate number two. What a little canter. Bartos Smarzik in second place. Patrick Dudek back in third. But the night belongs to Dan Beauty from Great Britain. He picks up 20 World Championship points, moving on to 64. What a night. And the first British winner in 15 years, Chris. We've had to wait a long time, but by golly, it was worth the wait. Yeah, his camp are going to be partying tonight. That was done so fantastically well. He made an electric start. He made the bike work in, the, in all four laps. He didn't make any mistakes, and he can rightly celebrate. Uh, look that down there with Steve Lawson, a man who really has worked tirelessly to get him to this point. Dan Beauty comes of age, so close in Gorgeroff, of course, last time out. But now his first final, and guess what? He's won it. Fantastic performance. Bartosz Marslik will be more than happy with 18 points, particularly as Leon Madsen has slipped back into fourth place, pick out 14, and Dudek on the rostrum with him. So for Smarslik extending his lead once again. Uh, good night for Smarslik. He's just showing his appreciation to the fans, but tonight. It's all about Dan Bewley, so accomplished. And there's Smarzlik showing his appreciation for what Dan has achieved. I thought he was going to give him a toe there to get the bike running. <laughs> He's eventually done it, but he Definitely started in fine yeah. style, Chris. His first two opening rides tonight were just sensational. Just dipped a bit in his third and fourth rides, finished with a flourish in his fifth qualifying ride. With that ride in the final was something that was a sight to behold. And I'll say it again. A young man comes of age here tonight in the Principality. This place has just blown the roof off. I mean, crikey, can't get any louder.
but this is a special moment, a moment he will never, ever forget. I don't think they're going to stop him going round, to be honest. I think he'll be going round till he runs out of fuel. The winner on the night is Dan Bewley. He's done it in wonderful style, delights the home crowd. And how about that, winning your first Grand Prix in the Principality Stadium at home? The last winner 15 years ago, and it's great to have Chris Harris, Bomber Harris, here tonight to witness it. I'm sure he's absolutely delighted for that. Uh, he'll be over the moon for him. And, uh, Steve Lawson told me this guy doesn't get excited when he wins a race. He seems pretty excited to me. Uh, rightly so. Yes, uh, I don't think anybody's going to uh, excuse that, but no, a brilliant moment for him. I'm sure he's going to make the very uh, most of it. It's going to take a little while to settle in, I'm sure, and just sink in exactly the achievement he's done. But more and more than that, He's now in the championship chase because he's rocketed to 64 world championship points. He's in the top six comfortably. And Dan Bewley, what a night for him. Yeah, this, this guy, how far can he go? He is just growing in confidence. It's great to see these young guys coming along. Jack Holder, disappointed not to make the final, but this is absolutely a fantastic result for the youngsters and particularly that man there. And when he reflects on the fact that he shouldn't, you know, with the uh, suspension of the Russian riders, he wasn't even going to be here, so no, a remarkable no. moment. Dan Bewley won the final nicely. Bartosz Schmarslik back in second place, Patrick Dudek in third, and Leon Madsen didn't get the flyer he was looking for this time off the outside. <laughs> no, he didn't. And uh, he uh, finished fourth, but uh, the top three tonight, Bewley, Schmarslik and Dudek. I don't think that smile's going to disappear for some considerable to tie. So here's the... Uh, standings after the qualifying races obviously Bewley and Jack Holder going through on 12 but uh, the world championship points will be allocated now subsequently so we will see what they've scored on the night and then actually what the standings are there which will be very interesting to see the standings moving towards there's the points on the night 24 Bewley 18 for Smarsvik Dudek on 16 14 for Madsen Holder 12 Lingwin 11 Doyle on 10 and Mickelson on 9 and then obviously the guys that didn't make the semi-finals 8, 7, 6, 5, 4 right down to the bottom and uh, that's the uh, points that are awarded for this Grand Prix but uh, now we can uh, hopefully have the update of the standings, no, we're going to see the replay first Yeah, well why not, you know, this was a fantastic race uh, for Dan Bewley, makes a textbook start keeps it all controlled, all smooth all the right things, Smarslik there, just dives down to the inside makes sure he uh, gets himself ahead of Patrick Dudek, he's chasing the world championship and done himself no harm here in that respect tonight but tonight will be remembered for that man there, Dan Bewley he will be celebrating long into the into the night here in Cardiff. Busy man racing all over Europe, but he is going to remember this one for a long, long time. Absolutely. Celebration time. Plenty of British support there, clearly overjoyed with the performance. As I say, 15 years ago, Chris Harris came through in a dramatic finish to the Grand Prix that night. Not quite such a dramatic finish tonight, but when you consider what we've been through this evening, Got to say that uh, he had a great, great uh, performance there at uh, the conclusion of events. So now we can get down and we can hear from the winner now. He joins Scott Nichols. Yeah, your FIM Speedway Grand Prix round six winner. This man here, Dan Bewley. Dan, you make your first final and you go and win it in arguably the best venue on the calendar. Yeah, <laughs> I actually thought about this in Gorjov, you know, about winning, and uh, I had a speech and some people I wanted to thank and all kinds, but now I'm here, I just, uh, well, I've got, after the second lap, I kind of, I don't know, I seized up, and uh, I just want to say thanks to everybody for cheering me on tonight, you know, thanks to the boys in the pits for working hard, and, uh, you know, thanks to everyone who makes it work, sponsors and friends and family here, and some working fans, some fans from all over England, and all over the world, Poland, and uh, it's just been awesome. What a night. An amazing night, and you got off to a perfect start, two race wins. Obviously, I know this is going to take a while to settle in, but uh, I have to ask you, did you have a plan going into that final? Uh, I actually wanted gate two, but then I was thinking, uh, you know, I should probably go one, and then um, after the semi, I didn't have much choice, so it worked out pretty good. So uh, just, yeah, make the start and try and get in front. The track's a lot easier in front, so... Uh, no, uh, after the first lap, I thought, you know, put one good lap in and then uh, 
you know, I think it's the wrong thing to do, look behind, but I kind of seen I had a bit of a lead and, uh, you know, seized up, but uh, we got the job done. And, uh, you know, just once again, thanks to the boys in the pits and uh, thanks for everybody for supporting me tonight. Just finally, how were the nerves partway through the race? And just, how were the nerves partway through the race? Did you seize up? Was the heart race kind of just off the scale? Yeah, it was off the scale in the semi, actually, when we had one minute for the rerun, but... Uh, no, you know, I love pressure and uh, I think you've got to earn pressure and it's cool. But, uh, you know, after two laps, I don't think that's pressure. I think you get a little bit, you know, confident and uh, you seize up. But, uh, no, this is awesome, but uh, it's still a long way to go in the season. So look forward to the next one. But, uh, you know, this is one I'm never going to forget. Mate, in the meantime, enjoy tonight. Soak it up. Well done, Dan Bewley.